update for Luminar. It's now 4.2, and in this update, they've added um, a new artificial intelligence function called AI Augmented Augmented aug, Augmented Sky. So with that, what we're going to do here is I'm going to shake myself down back in the corner. With that, you can now select objects to put within your photo. So they come with a list of objects. So you can add an aurora, a balloon, birds, fireworks, eagle, lightning, moons. Ah, is that a moon? There you go. So I can add change the amount of visibility, opacity, can warm it up, can relight it, I can refine the mask, and I can defocus it. I can edit the mask, and I can place the object. So if I want to move the object over here and make it a little bigger, twist it a little bit. It does a pretty good job of masking it at in. As you notice, it's, the pole is still there. But now, it, it's for the sky. So, if you try to move the object to the ground, it's just going to go behind. So, it's doing a pretty good job of of automatically masking behind the object. But what happens now if I want to add a set of birds? Let's go and add uh, the bird, 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 birds, birds. I'm going to add some birds. Well, look what happened. My moon is gone. Well, that didn't help me out a bit, did it? So let's uh, go back and we'll put my uh, moon back in there. So, so my moon's back in there. So we cannot add a second one. So can we add an adjustment layer? All right, we added an adjustment layer. Well, the augmented sky is not available. So what you have to do is, I'm just going to delete that layer. What you have to do is you have to create a stamp layer. And it'll merge it together for us. Now we can go back and now we can select Our birds. Yeah, look that one there. The place button. So there we have that one. And again, we can kind of defocus it. And bring it back down. It's interesting this time because let's go to 100%. Huh. Oh, no, it's going behind. Look, at, look how well that cut that in behind there. That's actually quite impressive for doing that automatically. Um, take a brush. Let's 
So we can't add a mask on our race. Just don't like that bird behind there. Let's go to opacity of 100. There we go. Paint in. Nope. Blue that. I'm going to put these birds back. All right. We got all these birds. Can erase just that one there. Paint this guy back. Ah, I did it again. There we go. Hit the screen so the birds are in there. But there's another trick I want to show you as well. There is a place called, let's go back here. It used to be called Kiss PNG. Now it's called Clean PNG. So cleanpng.com is a place you want to go. And what it does is it has already done the um, clear, cleaning or the cutting out of the items. So just for fun again, um, let's go. There's a ton of stuff in here you can find out. Yeah, you can pick up Tony the Tiger. <laughs> I'm going to take Tony the Tiger. Free downloads. Great place to get it. Uh, should start here in a second. Call this. Oh, that's why I'm in the wrong one. I'm going to go back to the right one. Going to the tiger. And I minimize that. So I've got a new stamp layer. Nope, that's a bird. So I gotta go back, create a new stamp layer again. Let go for a sec. It should catch up. Go back to select the object. Now I'm going to load a custom image at the bottom. I'm going to my layer. There's Tony the Tiger. Place the object. And we want to make sure he's fully in focus. And we're good with them. So those are the new things or the new item that's been added. It's pretty good. It's fast and unique and works really well actually. I'm I'm impressed with it. It's not Photoshop, but it is pretty good. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll get the chance to use it if you uh, have actually have it because it's, it's right now it's only available in Canada, Austria, and Australia. I understand it was a soft. Um, a soft upgrade so have fun with it enjoy it see what you can do and we will see you next time on uh, who said photography